Welcome back gamers. My name is Roll Easy. I'd like to thank you for coming back to the channel. Everyone, we did get the new Ocelot Ardent. The very anticipated James Bond looking car has been updated and put into GTA 5 online today. It's Tuesday, you know the tunables have been updated. A few more other things we should talk about, but before we get started, make sure to like the video, hit that blue thumbs up, subscribe to me if you haven't already, and turn on post notifications so you can be notified the instant I come out with any more fresh and informative dope content. Okay, so right here on the screen I am going to show you guys what it looks like to purchase the car. Now, it's rounded at a little bit above $1 million, as you can see right here, 1.15 mil. So, right away, you can kind of tell you're probably not going to be taking this car out on the track. It doesn't look to be a racing, you know, car whatsoever. It looks to be more of just, you know, a chill driving around car. Now, what makes it the whole James Bond thing is that it does have double machine guns on the front, which should be pretty good. And I'm just going to show you the customization options right here. Now... Just to say, I'm going to say right now, I was actually kind of surprised. The customization options, they're not the greatest, don't get me wrong, but they're still not the worst either. They're kind of cool. I expected a little bit less. Make sure you take this into your vehicle workshop, by the way, in your MOC, so that you can actually put the custom uh, libraries on it. Don't just take it into LSC. Uh, you're not going to get, you know, the full effect of it. But yeah, as you can see right here, I was trying to kind of debate what I should, you know, make for it. And I ended up, you know, choosing one of these liveries. That one, or liveries I should say, that one right there with the pearlescent I'm putting on it looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. A little bit, you know, like my uh, the other car that I bought, you know, the XA21, the colors are kind of similar. But with this livery, it really gives it a whole new element. I do feel like taking this car out and, you know, attacking people and whatnot. But, you know, it just seems to be more of a chill car. I don't know if I'll take it out again, but I'm going to show you right here what it looks like, what it sounds like. This is the test drive. And I overall, I guess you can say my final kind of conclusion about this car is it's pretty good. If I were to give it a 10, you know, or um, a rating out of 10, I'd probably give it a six and a half. And that's being generous. It's really not that fast. The speed is not impressive whatsoever. As you can see right here on the screen, you can change between all of your guns as well as the machine gun. So that's a really neat feature because as we all know, the Ruiner, you weren't able to actually switch through all your, you know, your main weapons to shoot out of the car to throw stickies. You could only, you know, shoot the uh, the missiles that were on there and the little, you know, machine guns that are worthless. So that was a nice feature that I can still use my stickies as well as the machine gun. Now at night, this thing looks pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie. I do like the engine coming out in the back. That's a really neat feature. It's uh, it's an old school, you know, looking car, and I do like it aesthetically. I think it's more aesthetically pleasing than anything else, though. Um, as as a driving around car, that's pretty much the only reason I would use it. Once again, I never take it out on the track, especially because this one's a lot slower than the uh, than the XA21, and most people don't even take the XA21 out on the track, so they're definitely not going to take this one out. But what can you expect at a price point of you know a little bit over a million dollars? All the best race cars in the game are well over that, so. You know, I wasn't really too surprised that this wasn't going to end up being a race car. But we do have a few other things to talk about since this is Tuesday. Guys, if you want to make some really good money, the Bunker Series jobs right now, uh, the, the Adversary Mode, they're all double GTA money and RP, as well as Vehicle Vendetta, the other Adversary Mode that came out a, a while back. They are both GTA double money and RP, so take advantage of that. What you should really take advantage of, honestly, are the vehicle cargo sell missions. Now, wh whoever likes to, you know, become a CEO and sell cars, this is the time to do it. This week, you actually get double payout for all those cars. So if you're selling one of those high-end vehicles that, you know, you profit 80 grand from, you're actually going to make 160 grand off of that, according to, you know, what they say on the Rockstar social page. So take advantage of that, really. And it's a, if you don't have one yet, it's 25% off of all the uh, vehicle cargo warehouses. So now is the time to really, you know, take advantage of the CEO stuff as well. And if you do have a bunker, good news, they've boosted the manufacturing and research speeds by 25%. So everything will go a little bit faster and that's going to help a lot of you guys get your research projects done as well as, you know, make a lot more money with your um, guns, you know? So sell those guns, make a lot of money. Uh, the only other things, honestly, there's 25% off the Rocket Voltec and the Shafter LWB, as long as the Cognoscenti 55, so if you guys want to pick those up, you can as well. 
And the premium race and the time trial are Pulse for the special vehicle race. It's locked to the Rocket Voltec. And the time trial is coast to coast if you want to make a quick $52,000. But that's pretty much it. Other than that, the DM glitch is still working for all you guys that do want to do some money glitches. I'll leave links to two of my really good videos explaining how to do the director mode glitch if you guys don't know. They're going to be at the end of the video. And yeah, that's pretty much it for me, guys. Enjoy all the double money and RP that we're going to be getting. Enjoy the new car. Uh, do I think you should buy it? If you don't have the money, don't buy it. If you do have the money to blow and you've been doing all these glitches and stuff, go ahead and buy it. See what you think, you know? And if you don't like it, sell it. It's, it's really up to you, all right? My name is Roll Easy. That's it for me. Please like the video, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to turn on them post notifications so you can be notified the instant I come out with any more fresh and informative dope content. And I'm out of here, guys. Take it easy.